Look, Chris, four men said it before you. That's right, Jim and Mary. And who had it before that? Uh, John Cox. John Cox. And before that, his family had it, uh, Packy Cox. So that goes back a long time then. Obviously, handed on to John or whatever. Mm. And uh, before that, Cox Walken and Cox. It used to be a hardware in the bar. The hardware was down here, and the bar was up the back. You went in the side door in there into the bar. Mm. There was a wall there. There was sort of an L shaped bar. And uh, up to the time we came in, and uh, we changed it around. We just made it all, put it all into one. And had a private fortress upstairs. So it's a nice pub, isn't it? Lovely pub, oh, eh? it's a grand little pub, and I wish the man was coming in the very best, only the best. Uh, it seems like a nice fellow, a fellow with him, Matthew Hall. Um, involved in some operation in Darwin. From me, they're up that part of the country. Mm. Is, is he in the pub business already? Apparently he's 17, 17, 17 years in the hospitality industry, so... So he knows all about it? He knows all about it. <laughs> the pub business has gone some... And of course he came to the right town, Westwood. It's, uh, I mean, Westwood is perhaps one of the best towns in the country. For pub business, yeah? Uh, well, for everything, not just yeah. pub business, but for everything. Having said that, pub trade has, has, has uh, declined somewhat. I mean, when I went into it first way back in 89, it was almost a license to print money. Mm. But... Uh, what were the big changes that have occurred, do you think? Big change, well, the big changes, the, the, the regulations, I think, have gone overboard with regulations. We started off, it started off with the, with the uh, smoking ban way back so many years ago. That was the start of our pub's demise. I mean, thir 33 pubs have closed in Sligo, for instance, in the past two years. 33. Um, and uh, as you know, the pub is the focal point of any town, is when you meet your friends and meet people you never met before and that kind of thing and uh, I think uh, we're going to have a much much bigger problem in a few years time uh, because people are drinking at home and it's hard to blame them I mean you go up to Tesco's or any of these places uh, you're, 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 you can buy a bottle of whiskey or a bottle of vodka for 20 euro or 25 euro are you going to pay 80 euro for it in the pub? You're not so you can't blame them mm. I, I blame the government actually because they're, they're, they're overdoing it with regulations and that kind of thing. but that's it started with the the um, Smoking man. Okay. And then we had the um, drink driving. Now you know yourself that the man going home with two or three pints and even after a hard day's work is not a danger to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you're a doctor and all that thing, kind of thing, all about that. I think you'd agree with me on that. Mm -hmm. um, it's crazy, Clark, you know. And then they upped the price, in the, not the last budget, the previous budgets before that, they upped the price of the drink in the pubs, which but more people to the, the off licenses and that, mm -hmm. you know?